Hey everybody, it's Brian Tro. Uh, I'm here on the banks of Mossy Creek to give you uh, the, the fly fishing forecast. It is October 26th. So uh, fall is definitely set in here. As you can probably see, a lot of the trees have already dumped their leaves um, or, there's, or they're about to come down. Um, the fishing's changing quite a bit. So we got a little bit of different forecast. Also, you gotta pay attention to the weather this week because it looks like there's some big rain coming in. Um, maybe even a couple of inches uh, around Thursday time frame. So that could change a little bit uh, how we're fishing and, and, and how the fishing is. So to get started, uh, the report on our larger rivers, our smallmouth streams, um, they've pretty much quieted down for the season. So as we've been doing these, we've been chipping away and kind of finding little pockets of fish that still hadn't left. And, little pockets of smallmouth that were still biting, um, but that really has kind of uh, dwindled off. So musky fishing is quite good. Uh, we had some fish landed last week. I uh, got some trips in the books in the next week or two. So hopefully we'll have some encouraging um, reports on the musky side. So, uh, and for those of you who have interest in that, uh, that species or tackle surrounding it, give the shop a call. We've been musky fishing for, for years now at the store and uh, it can be a really fun way to stay in touch with our larger rivers and streams as the cold season comes through. Um, so as far as the trout go, uh, there's some updates there. Uh, the brook trout fishing, as I've been mentioning, we've been kind of waiting for those first signs of spawn uh, to kind of call it quits and those appear to be here. So, um, you know, if, if you're seeing something a little different on your local water, that's fine. Uh, they're not always all on the same page, but for the most part, by and large, we're telling folks to go ahead and stay away from the brook trout streams uh, until we can give some um, coast is clear, which sometimes can be for months, depending on whether you have to, to wade the stream or not. Um, so it was a great fall, beautiful colors in the fish. We've got a lot of great picks from this past fall. Water levels were better than they are in most years, um, which also will help benefit the spawn. Uh, the higher the water is, the more the fish are free to move around and interconnect. Um, and, and, and find better spawning habitat. So hopefully that all lead to great fishing down the road. Um, like I mentioned before, you wanna try and focus your efforts on some of the rainbow trout fisheries. The state is still out and busy stocking. Uh, they've stocked a few more DH streams. There's some water up in Northern Virginia that just opened up. They can be a lot of fun for our customers who live up that way uh, and, and don't have the time to drive uh, all the way down this way for the weekend. Uh, they make for really good spots to fish. Um, and uh, some of the other delayed harvest streams, uh, special reg streams that have been uh, stocked, Bat Creek delayed harvest has been good. Uh, the Jackson at Hidden Valley has been quite good. So uh, get out and enjoy those fisheries. You don't have to worry about spawn. They're almost all rainbow trout and they, they're not gonna spawn until the spring. Um, water levels could change. We get a lot of that rain coming up this weekend. You're gonna have to switch to heavier nymphs and streamers. Uh, tungsten jig, jig nymphs, things of that nature to help you get down a little bit more. We're losing the dry fly fishing uh, a little bit as we go along. Um, still some fish being taken on some hoppers and things that, like that, but for the most part, uh, nymph fishermen and streamer fishermen are having a little bit more success. Um, if you do see fish eating on the surface this time of year, it's usually going to be a small caddis fly. We've still seen them around. Blueing olives are always important, especially on overcast days. Um, so avoid the brook trout streams, start looking for more uh, uh, of your larger freestones with rainbow trout and some of your managed trout water. Keep checking the stocking schedule uh, for updates and call the shop, we'll help you out as well. Um, the spring creeks uh, are fishing okay, but we've started to get some of the brown trout on Mossy Creek paired up. So if you've noticed out here, if you've been out here fishing over the last few days, you'll start to see some of those mature fish paired up and they just won't eat. That's what'll happen. Uh, pretty much at that point, they stop biting. Um, because you're not allowed to wade this stream, you don't run the risk that you run uh, for the other fish up in the mountains of trampling their nests and whatnot. Um, and uh, so folks continue to fish this creek even when the spawn's going on. Plenty of immature fish, lots of six, seven, eight, nine inchers. Those fish are still up and happy and eating. They're, they're not sexually mature, so they're just gonna keep on feeding. You'll catch the occasional rainbow in here. There are a few. Um, so uh, it's not um, great this time of year. It'll slow down until those fish get off their reds and, and off their, from protecting the nest and start biting again. Um, it's always a little bit of a moving target. Sometimes that starts as early as middle of October, sometimes as late as middle of November, but it appears uh, they've, they've started to pair up and get on their nest now. So we'll try and 
bring you an update as to when they come off. Remember when they come off, they come off hungry, right? They haven't fed properly sometimes for weeks. And so it's really important uh, to keep checking in on these updates and, and find when that magical moment happens where all those fish come off and they're really, really starving. So um, until then, you can come out and join Mossy Creek, uh, catching some smaller guys, just tackle down, use lighter rods. We've had reports of folks catching a lot of uh, eight, nine, 10 inches on dry flies or eating little caddis and blueing olives. And, and that can be a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, keep your eye on the weather for later in the week. Enjoy the fall uh, and um, target some rainbow trout. That's kind of the summary. So we'll see you again next Monday. Thanks a lot.